mga palangga! Good evening! It's 31st of October 2021 and it is 25 minutes after 9 p.m. So I'm recording myself today and I'm just gonna share with you what we did. But before that, Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Oh! So, uh, where did we went today? Where we did went we went today? To swimming, in the swimming pool, that's why I have a little sunburn. And then? And then we went to City or City Mall. For? For my haircut and for inspecting the new mall. Mm -hmm. So I increased the size, I guess they doubled the size and now it's a really nice mall and very crowded there. A lot of people, that's so good to see that Malaysia goes back to normal. So today I'm gonna show you some of the things we bought in Lulu Hypermarket. Mm -hmm. Lulu Hypermarket is one of our favorite supermarket maybe mm -hmm. because it's an Arab supermarket and you can buy a lot and of you can stuff buy here. a lot of stuff and it's way like more cheaper there Turkish Turkish, Turkish delight, delight Turkish sweets mm -hmm. and um, Filipino uh, stuff as well I bought some I bought I think two and then we bought some some uh, nuts uh, there so I'm gonna show you some in a while and uh, of course I scammed my husband while he is having a haircut, haircut. I got bored so I took a chance so I'm gonna be back bye so um, I'm gonna show you first my husband had some haircut today I actually have some new stuff can you see the window curtain <laughs> bangs it has been there, but I guess that's the reason why I always I always put my hair bun up because I don't know how to style it and I'm always doing my exercises. So, things that I did today, I scammed my husband while he was on the salon. I bought from Luvisa three sets of earrings. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm not gonna... Sorry lang. So these are the new earrings I have. So the other one is gold. And uh, this one, I love it so much. And this is my um, Habib pearls. I think it's Habib Han, right? And then I'm wearing the new one now, which I love so much. So um, these are what we bought in Lulu Hypermarket today. You can see here, uh, this is roasted no caramelized cashew nut 100 grams we also bought um a roasted plain almonds from iran we they have two two versions right hun one from usa and one from iran and i didn't like the one from usa i think it was too hard to eat and this one is a little bit chewy and I like it so I immediately took it from the pack and I put it here so that's the reason why we have a lot we do have we like to munch especially on movie time or in the evening when we have quality time so this is one of the things that we always buy and I have boy bawang. Boy bawang! From Philippines. So I bought it from there. Some of the Turkish sweets that we have. I really love this. This is the Turkish nougat. It's a bit chewy. And that's the reason why I like it. So what else did we bought there, hon? We bought feta cheese. Because they have a good quality feta cheese there. And then... Um, pastries that I cannot bake because my skills is not that much is croissants. We really love to have croissants, so I have croissants. Our croissants last longer. The way how to keep it is you put it in a Ziploc 
and then you put it in the freezer and when you want to eat it you just take it out you let it rest for like 10 minutes and then you cut it and then you put it in the oven to reheat it or you put it in your air fryer so and then i have for my husband french rolls french bread <laughs> french bread so um yeah these are all of our our finds today together with mine uh, so yeah overall we are very happy um we underestimated the place because it was so huge and um we number one we underestimated the place number two the we underestimated the cashier line <laughs> like we spent 10 to 15 minutes Even more, I guess. Like, 20 minutes. like 20 minutes just falling in line and there are a lot of people who are um, buying because it's month end so we really underestimated that one so uh, i'm gonna make myself do you want a hot chocolate you don't want i'm gonna make myself i actually don't want to make myself uh turkish coffee because um it will number one palpitate my heart it will increase my heartbeat ah we also bought parata these are um parata that you can eat the next day so uh yeah that's also one thing that we have uh, my husband loves asian food and he likes to explore stuff right now i think his dinner was homemade pastrami sandwich i made it from scratch only the french bread and then um he has a turkish kofta which is a chicken kebab so i also have one from philippines that i wanted to share with you this is what you call ibos Ta -da! and today i had ibos so I'm going to put it in the fridge because it's made of coconut and it needs to um, be stored properly. And you know what? In Philippines, if you have like one week old ibos, it, smelled like, it smells like it's spoiled. But actually, it's very nice to deep fry it or to fry it. And it has a, and then you put a sugar on it. So it's like caramelized ibos and it's so nice. And I'm so excited to try that for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make myself... Uh, I'm gonna make myself a hot milk and I'm gonna make it plain and we're gonna try some Turkish delight uh, together with my husband so see you false alarm I wanted to show you the feta cheese and the olives that we bought from Lulu hypermarket uh, my tip as a smart wife is you don't have to buy a big gram um, ideally if you want to try some of their products like if you are not sure you start with a gram that you are comfortable to 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 explore like for me and my husband we start with 100 grams right hun we usually start with 100 grams and it basically you just have to divide it into 10 so say for example this one this is just 790 and this is just i think this is 790 and this is 10 ringgit so 100 gram is not too much but you can at least consume it for the next two to three days so this one we are not gonna finish it so much so 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 we bought this feta cheese this is weight is 0 0.194 how much is it hun weight is 0 0.194 194 grams so 194 grams and it only costs 5 ringgit and 47 cents so the other one is i love i really love quality turkish olives i mean if it comes from turkey or it comes from Europe, I would really want to try them out and I eat them fresh. Um, also, another advantage is my husband doesn't eat olives at all. <laughs> so, more for me. So, 
This is 140 grams and it's just 4 ringgit. So, wise or smart wife tip, just buy portions in 100 grams. So, okay, my husband is waiting for me now. I need to make the hot milk and then I'm gonna show you later the taste test for the Turkish delights that we bought from. Where did we bought it, Han? Hanas? Manas? Yeah, but it's in Setia City. Setia City Mall. It's located in Setia Alam. Um, if you are on the other side of the Malaysia and you know, you need to explore this. It's a totally different place. It looks more like KL. From the outside, it looks more like Bahrain or Dubai. Not even Dubai. Maybe let's say Riyadh. <laughs> That's a place that is booming now. Yeah, and it doesn't look like KL at all. It has very wide space lanes, road lanes. It's fully renovated. And um, it looks like you are on a different city or you are in a different country. People that roam around there mostly are Muslims or Islams. And they are seldom, well, for me, people who dress like me <laughs> or like expats but it's a very it's it's a it's a humongous huge place and if you're living here in Malaysia you can try to explore it um, they have a lot of nice cafes they have a lot of retail shops and it's something worth exploring okay I'm gonna make that I'm back! So, my husband does not want to come here with me, but it's okay. We're gonna do some taste test. Don't worry, it's not the background. It's this. You wanna try this? Have you tried this already? No. This is a uh, popcorn bits. Does it, do you like the taste? Yeah, it's fine. Where did you get this? This is the Philippine one. Ah, okay. You wanna try more? No. Like sweet corn that we have. Next up, we're going to try. Mm. Have you tried it? Yes. This is caramelized. Caramelized almond. No, no almond. Cashew, Cashew nut. Can you see? It's nice. That's it. That's it. Eleven ringgit. For one hundred gram. One hundred gram. How about this? I haven't tried this. Okay, I give you one. This is pistachio, roasted pistachio in plain flavor from Iran. I cannot open it with my teeth because you know my retainer. Mm. Very good. This than the USA one. What is the taste? It's not just sour. There's also like a lemon. I don't know. So you know. Not lemon. Yeah. It's like some sourness is there. No. Do you know the <gasps> saffron? Mm, okay. Hmm. Nice. So this one, approve rate from one to ten. Them being the tastiest of all of them, or this one, it's What's very tasty, very good from one to ten. A ten. Ten for me, like hmm, eight, eight point five. This one is nine, maybe ten. I like this one, yeah, it's it's a nine, yeah. Oh, you know, I made a homemade almond and that one my husband so much love, but I didn't actually do it just for a snack. I do I did it for as a recipe for my cinnamon rolls, but my husband said that it really reminds him of German Christmas. I guess because I made it with the Christmas cinnamon yeah, cinnamon sugar. Yeah, Christmas. Cinnamon. Christmas, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is pistachio. I don't know. This is this is from from a Turkish store. Um, today they even gave us a Turkish delight for free. 
so i think it's just it's soft in the inside okay i'm gonna mm -hmm. that's that's the best dessert you can have Turk mm. turkish dessert that is awesome mm. Mm. it's so chewy mm -hmm. it's not so sweet it's filled with pistachio Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's not so sweet. I can taste cinnamon. Mm -hmm. The cinnamon com comes later, mm. not in the beginning. It takes a while and then the cinnamon comes. Yeah. Mm. Mm, very really nice. Good. Mm -hmm. I love it. The score, maybe 10. It has a sour taste afterwards, but hmm. this one is the same from the inside, but instead of pistachio, it's made of macadamia nuts. Do you want to take the first bite? Take a big one. Because my teeth. Is it the same inside? Mm. No. There's like an orange flavor. Mm. It has a citrusy taste that comes afterwards. Mm. It's like pumpkin. I'm not sure. Hmm? It has a um, citrus, orangey, tanginess aftertaste after you munch the all macadamia. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a cinnamon flavor. First one was a cinnamon one. Too much sweet, no? Yeah, it's not so good as the previous mm. one, so this is an eight, maybe or seven. seven. Yeah. yeah, I need to clear my mouth. Do you want to taste the baklava later? We can start the nougat. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> we bought the nougat because it's just 10 ringgit. And I don't know how much, how many inside. Eight. Did Eight. you count it already? You know, I'm very bad at math. So you cannot trust me. Mm -hmm. I need to double check. It's more than that. Okay, I take it's one. Ten, ten pieces. Oh, one ring at each is ten pieces. Okay. Let's open together. Okay, this is how it looks like. Mm, we really love Turkish sweets. They are like the best. Even the Turkish taste if you have a Turkish family as friends, one thing you can count on, you will always get that stuff. Yeah, if you have a Turkish family or friends, one thing that you will get from them all the time, Christmas, birthday, just hello, you will get this. I guess this is part of their tradition to eat Turkish sweets together with their... Cheers! together with their Turkish coffee. I'm not taking Turkish coffee because it's too strong, but you'll definitely enjoy it because the strong aromatic flavor and taste of the Turkish coffee will make you appreciate the sweetness of their desserts. You don't like it? Mm. Mm, it's so nice. You know, they're like melted marshmallow mm -hmm. with the flavor of uh, condensed milk. <laughs> and then the taste is like with pistachio. Mm -hmm. And it's so chewy. They melt in your mouth. But it's definitely not my favorite. So I give it only a six, maybe. For me, it's just ten. I love it so much, so much. It's super duper. 
The name of the store where we bought this is Mahanas Food. They are the importer. City of City Mall. Yeah, they have a lot of, not a lot. I only know two places, Setia City Mall, and then one is in the Armenian or Armenian Street in Bukit Bintang. Mm. They also have quality honeys, pistachios, but a bit expensive. And their honeys can range from 100 ringgit mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. for 50 to 100 ml. Very expensive because they're quality. Okay, next one is the baklava. baklava. Um, how does it make? It is made of like different kinds of peanuts inside, and then they will have this very thin pastry, and then they will bake it. And actually, um, they I don't know what you mean by peanuts inside, and then they will have this very thin pastry, and then they will break it. And actually. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but Siri just mentioned a very bad word. I'm sorry. That's baklava. So, take the bite. Not big, a bit, because I don't. Okay. Mm. That is absolutely it. Mm. <laughs> You're gonna dance in the stars when you mm. eat baklava. Baklava is something that every Turkish family always have at home for their guests. If you go there, if you get invited, you always get baklava. In tea? In whatever gathering, baklava should be there. It's like an appetizer, but after meal. Do you get me? It's not even a dessert. It's like a tradition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, need, you, need, you need to eat baklava. And baklava tastes in different family, in different traditions. But you will always have that distinct flavor that... Because they coated this with sugar, like it's being baked and then they put the sugar on it and then they let it take down. It's, it's something. You can Google how to make baklava in Instagram or in Google. That's like caramelized sugar and then you put yeah. nuts inside and it becomes a thick paste. Yeah. You know? so, mm. so this is another baklava but it's made of peanut. Don't know. I think cashew. That one that we ate earlier was made of pistachio. And this one is made of peanut. Do the honors again. My husband loves Turkish sweets dessert so much. And I'm so happy that I married a, a husband who has the same appetite and taste like me. You know what? We didn't even bought too much. We only bought two pieces each. Mm -hmm. Mmm. I like this better. Better? No. I like the other one better. Hmm. I give a nine for this. Okay. No. We're going to taste a different one. Last but not the least is the Filipino. Huh? Corn. Corn. Dried corn. Its name is boy bawang. You know the literal meaning of boy bawang is boy is a boy, mm. bawang is garlic. It's garlic. Oh, okay. So boy bawang is garlic, garlic boy. boy. <laughs> and it has a flavor. The flavor is lechon. Let me guess. Garlic. No. no. <laughs> the flavor is lechon. Baboy. Mm. Okay. Pork. No, 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 you have to put it. Excuse me. Okay. You know what, Tom? I have a trick to you. I can throw this and catch it. Oh. 
I, I can't do it. Okay, I hope I can do it because it's recorded. Oops. Did you saw that? One more. Wait, that one failed? That will fail again. Okay, I can only do two. You haven't do, done this for three years, I yeah. guess. Mm. <laughs> no, I failed. Mm. How you did you like the You should have stopped after the first one. <laughs> <laughs> did you like the taste, huh? Yeah, it's like chips, so like a snack. So, mm. Yeah. Yeah, like, like chips, basically. Mm. So, these are our finds today. I hope you like our short version of mukbang which ran for 14 minutes for the sake of youtube but yeah we're gonna watch something today something not my cup of tea i don't like zombies i don't like crimes i don't like anything that has something to do with knife i don't like extreme anything yeah but we don't know if that's extreme there but but me as you talk about yesterday we watched army of thieves oh yeah that was German very nice actor Matthias Schweighöfer it's a really <laughs> awesome movie it's a really really good movie I can't even pronounce the last name but I'm happy that he Army of Thieves Army of Thieves and you need to watch why the lead actor is the same name with my husband anyone who has the name Matthias you need to watch it it's very good anyway I think that's all for tonight happy Halloween again and uh, enjoy your day Choose and bye. How do you say choose and? Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen.